Hello all you people out there in TV land. My name is CB Studios, also known as Kurt, and uh, we are coming at you today on this most auspicious day, one of my favorite days of the year. It is Friday the 13th, hence my appropriate attire. And I'm only going to do a fairly quick video today, but I wanted to show off something that I really like in my collection. Yes, it's Friday the 13th. Yes, it's Jason themed. Oh yeah, who could have seen that one coming? Today, I'd like to show you guys and have a little bit of a talk through my Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Hockey Mask. Ooh. Ah. If you feel like applauding, now, now you applaud. Uh, applause now. Jason Mask. Now, there are many, many different types of Jason Masks available on the internet and in stores and all of that sort of thing. Ever since about 2013 or so, you've been able to get the really nice plastic ones, uh, really nice and cheap around Halloween time. They're pretty excellent. You can get fiberglass replicas, you can get vac-formed replicas that are really nice, high-end pieces, really, really well-painted ones, masks cast off the screen used, masks custom sculpted. And then you can get the NECA brand of masks, and uh, that's what this started life as. This is one of the older NECA style masks, or NECA masks, it's not a NECA style, it is actually a NECA mask. Um, and I bought this back in like 2010. I bought this a while back. This is the Freddy vs. Jason specific hockey mask, and the reason that it's so specific is for every movie, the masks themselves are different. Now, in Freddy vs. Jason, it was re-sculpted, and it was actually cast in a thick uh, polyurethane resin, I believe. And this is no exception. This is a very thick polyester resin that NECA has cast this in. So this mask has been repainted. I refinished it entirely. I did all the stenciling for the chevrons and everything. I made the leather straps. Really nice leather straps on this one. But one of the reasons that I repainted this one is I actually cracked it, replacing these straps once. We've got a nice big crack, let's see if we can see it. Yeah, big crescent crack right near this strap up here. And it's barely, barely visible through the front. Uh, but they are quite thick and heavy and very, very fragile. If you drop this on tiles, it's gonna shatter. I have a very tall friend, my friend Tyson, over at Weirdy Beardy. I think Weirdy Beardy Cosplay or Weirdy Beardy Creations, something along those lines. I'll throw his uh, various deets down the bottom here. But uh, Tyson and I actually have the correct height difference between Freddy vs. Jason Jason and Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger. So we're going to throw him in a Jason costume with one of these masks on. But not this one. A cast of this one. And this is my second part to this video. Uh, I actually took it upon myself when I was bored, I think under lockdown, to plug up the holes on this uh, and pop my straps off and actually make a mold of this specific mask so I could cast them in a more flexible and more durable uh, urethane resin. And what I want to show you now is my master. This. With my nice part six chevron sticker test on there. Uh, this is my, my master of the uh, Freddy vs. Jason hockey mask. We've got it all there, yep, excellent. So it's Freddy vs. Jason hock master. Um, and this is a polyurethane resin. Uh, it's easy cast from Barnes. Uh, cast, slush cast into my mold. It's then had a brush up coat of BR75D, which is a uh, beige, you can see some beige coloring around the side, or like a peach color, urethane, it's quite thick. Brush that in to thicken up all of those details. And then it's been backfilled with uh, our foam. Uh, so an expanding, rigid polyurethane foam. If I ever need to remake my mold, I will use this. It has still maintained my crack detail, which I actually kind of like, and a nice big crack down the forehead there. That means that any silicon cast that's done of this will mimic those details and all the nice weathering and scratches and stuff that the original mask had, um, which actually transfers from the screen use mask that the NECA one was cast from. Oh yeah. Now, to give you an idea, this is what one of my blank casts looks like. This was just some old resin that was going off. So this is not a usable cast. Uh, it's very, very rough on the inside. My casts usually aren't that rough. Uh, but this was actually a test cast with some TC808 black and a little bit of white pigment in it to make it a little bit lighter gray. Um, you can see it's got all that really nice texturing and detail, and the shape is spectacular for these sort of things. So I've actually cast Tyson up a really nice rigid version and painted it and strapped it, and then eventually I'll sculpt it under mask in latex and do that as well. 
Um, they're really, really cool hockey masks, and in my opinion, the Freddy vs. Jason mask has one of the nicest shapes in any of the movies. It doesn't have its nice big axe wound through the top. Uh, it's a really cool redesign. It definitely harkens back to the original Part 3 style uh, of mask without looking too much like any other one. It's got a really iconic look. And I do genuinely love it. And that's why I went for this sort of paint job. It's one of my favorite pieces. Uh, works amazingly with my nice versus Freddy Krueger. Uh, I'm very, very happy with that. Well, there you go, guys. That is my NECA Freddy vs. Jason Hawk. Uh, my NECA Freddy vs. Jason Hockey Mask. My Hockey Mask from Jason from uh, Freddy vs. Jason. It is a really nice piece. If you can find these, they still go for really, really high money. Um, I'm really lucky to still have it in my collection after I sold off a bunch of horror stuff back in sort of the mid 2010s. Uh, real stupid decision there, Kurt. Really dumb. But I've still got this guy in my collection and he looks really, really nice on display with my Freddy glove. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. If you have one of these guys, I'd love to hear it. If you've broken one of these, I want to hear that too because I know that pain. Throw me a like if you feel so inclined. Throw me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I've got some really cool horror stuff on the way. I've got some Evil Dead stuff to celebrate the trailer of Evil Dead Rise that's just come out. I've got some work coming on my Uber Jason hockey mask. My uh, chrome one we're going to do an under mask. And I'm going to video an under mask and a back plate sculpt for that. It's going to look awesome. I'm really, really keen to do it. Is that all for me, guys? Celebrating Friday the 13th with all of you. Thank you so very much for watching and uh, let's get to the beauty shots of these guys.